All right, let's look at this question on the uh, bronze alloy here. So we have a 2.225 gram sample of bronze, an alloy of tin and copper, so it's a mixture of tin and copper, is found to contain 0.684 grams of tin. How many grams of copper are in the sample of bronze? And that tells us something else. There are 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of copper and 63.54 grams of copper. So that's a conversion factor. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms is 63.54 grams of copper. So that's a conversion factor. Nothing else is. So if we look at this, let's. We know we have. What do we have? We have 2.225 grams of bronze. And of that 2.225 grams of bronze, uh, we have um, what? 0.684 grams of tin. So remember, bronze is tin and copper. And we're looking for atoms of copper. So we know the units of our answer are atoms. Adams copper. Okay, so we know that's where we're at. I've got to fix my light here a little bit. Let's come back to that. All right. So that's where we're headed. So we need to figure out how many grams of copper. Well, if we have 2.225 grams of bronze, and we subtract away 0.684 grams of tin. That's equal to the mass of copper. What is that? 1.541 grams of copper. Let's double check that. So we have uh, 2.225 minus 0 0.684 equals 1.541 grams of copper. All right. Remember, we also have this conversion factor. We have, what do we have? We have um, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of copper in 63.54 grams of copper. All right, so now we have everything we need. We've got grams of copper, and we have a conversion. So we're going to start with, use our rule of thumb, this isn't something per something, so I'm not going to start with something per something. So I have, I'm going to start with copper, because that's what I'm ending with, copper. 1.541 grams of copper. Okay. And I know for every, I can use this conversion factor now, for every 63.54 grams of copper, I need grams of copper on the bottom, so they cancel. I have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of copper. Grams of copper cancel. Left with atoms. That's what we're shooting for. So we're in good shape. Let's go ahead and calculate this. 1.541 times I have 6.02 23 divided by 63.54 should get a big number because atoms are really teeny tiny things so it looks like we're good to 1, 2, 3, 4 sig figs so 1.460 the 9 is going to make it a 10 so 1.460 times 10 to the 22nd atoms of copper.